Greetings, Lee Harder, TND, with you here on this Thursday. News from Columbia today. Controller General Richard Ekstrom has resigned in the wake of the $3.5 billion mistake uh, that was made uh, with regard to state money. Uh, the legislature continues to call for uh, potentially going ahead and making that uh, position controller, which has been debated before, and a governor-appointed position rather than an elected one. Uh, Mr. Ekstrom, though uh, a veteran in that office, um, is at least saying he is leaving. So we'll be bringing you more on that as the day goes on into and into the evening. Two stories out of the city of Orangeburg. Uh, Orangeburg Department of Public Safety uh, has been awarded accreditation on the state and national levels. Uh, congratulations to to a, a group of officers and other folks who do a really good job. The uh, Stevenson Auditorium, uh, it's going to cost a lot, but they're going to have to put a new roof on it. $700,000 is a pro the approximate figure, not quite, but it'll, it's going to scare it to death. Okay, the we will look also at uh, the county uh, coming closer to a deal or to a donation to the school district, Orangeburg County School District, a property on Cook Road expected to be the site for the new OW. This weekend, South Carolina State University on the field behind Felton Lab, 10 to 4 on Saturday, AgriFest. It's going to feature uh, just about everything about um, farming, but a lot of entertainment. It's a lot like just a regular festival. We urge you to check it out. We've got um, we've got a story today about uh, what's going to take place there. So, um, and actually our story today is about South Carolina Farm Bureau uh, donating some money to support AgriFest. Hope you have a good day.